Hello, I'm Dan Toffee, and welcome back to another brand new Fortnite video. The other day, we got the version 5.1 update to the game, and in the update, obviously, Epic added a load of new files into the game. As always, those files then being data mined, and things that have been put into the game and will be releasing soon have been leaked, and one of the things that were leaked from this week's update is a new weapon which should be coming pretty soon. So, the other day, files for a heavy sniper were found in the game, so we can assume that this will be coming in the next few weeks. But the reason why I want to talk about this gun is because of what it says in the description for it. In the description it says, a powerful and accurate rifle with a bolt action mechanism with an extremely slow reload. Shots pierce through the first wall it hits. This is the main part of the description that makes the big difference about this weapon being so important and the reason why I wanted to talk about it is that it fires through walls with its first shot. So the bullet that you fire will go through the wall no matter what it is, no matter how much damage it's got to it, the bullet will go through and will do damage to the player on the other side. Obviously, this is incredibly powerful in the game. No weapon so far can destroy a wall in one hit and then still do damage to the player on the other side of it. You always have to do damage to the material first before you can get to the player. This weapon will destroy the piece right in front of where they stood. It'll destroy only one piece though and then it will hit the player that stood directly behind it. Obviously, this weapon is incredibly powerful so it can only be found as a legendary variant. I think this is the only weapon we've had in the game so far, which can only be found as legendary. You usually get legendary and epic, but this time it is only legendary, so I think it does say how powerful it's going to be. And it does a base damage of 157, and I'm hoping this doesn't include headshot multipliers as well, because if you do get headshot multiplier on top of this, it'll definitely kill anyone, even if they're on 100% health and 100 shield. What balances this weapon out a bit though is its reload time. It takes 4.05 seconds seconds to reload and it only holds one bullet at a time. So you're gonna have a break of at least 4.05 seconds between taking every single shot. So it does fire incredibly slowly. What does worry me about this weapon though is that we also have the thermal rifle in the game. Obviously the thermal rifle lets you see through one wall and this weapon lets you shoot through one wall. So what I'm worried about is that players will be running a thermal rifle to see exactly where the player is. Then they'll change to the heavy sniper rifle, shoot through the wall and damage the player behind it because they know exactly where they are, know exactly where to aim to destroy the wall and kill the player in one shot. So, if this isn't managed properly, it could be an incredibly powerful weapon in the game, and it could be seen as being quite overpowered. Even if you can't kill in one shot with the heavy sniper rifle, because you do destroy it straight away in one hit, you don't have that normal warning that you'd have, because normally a person would be spraying at the piece a little bit, doing damage to it over time, so you have time to react, time to work out where they're coming from, and get ready to rebuild it. Because it destroys it straight away, you may have no warning before it gets destroyed, so the person could hit you for 157 damage, destroy the piece, and before you even realise what's going on, they could be spraying at you with an assault rifle, finishing you off. So even if they don't have a thermal rifle, it could still be a very powerful weapon, and it could be seen as overpowered. Obviously, this is another attempt by Epic to try and make building less powerful in the game. We've known for quite a while they don't really like how building is at the moment. So, this is kind of just a power weapon against building. Something which I definitely would like to see with this weapon to also even it out a little bit more, as well as having that really long reload time, is having some sort of a delay between switching to it and being able to fire it. Some sort of ready up time like you have between switching from one shotgun to another now. At the moment, you've got a one or two second delay between being able to fire two shotguns back to back. What I'd like to see is that no matter what weapon you're changing it from, whether you're going from a shotgun to this weapon or a sniper rifle to this weapon, is that you always have some sort of ready up time between them so that you don't know exactly where the player is through the wall if you have been using a thermal rifle and it just means that it's used more just for destroying the walls instead of killing players. But let me know what you think about the sound of this weapon in the comments down below, whether you think it'd be a good thing to add into the game because you think building's a little bit overpowered, or whether you think it's just something that's a little bit unnecessary and the game's fine how it is. But make sure you let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. If you're new here, please make sure you are subscribing so I cover news, tutorials and tips every single week, including all the weekly challenges. If you haven't been able to complete all of your weekly challenges yet from the last few weeks of season 5, make sure you check in them out linked on screen now. Well thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.